Good news, everyone. My best bang for your buck radio, the VGC N76, got a massive firmware update, turning things over uh, in a way that I didn't expect from a Chinese company. They've opened this up to full KISS TNC control over Bluetooth. That's right. They did a thing I did not expect a Chinese company would do. For a long time, Chinese manufacturers have had accessory Android applications that would control and add features to the radio. In this case, the VGC has an app called HT that allows you to do things like APRS and some other really cool things like SSTV through the application, which I just remember that. Really cool feature to have on a, on a, a radio like this, right? Wow, that worked perfectly. <laughs> but no, them opening the doors to allow us to use any of our favorite applications, if it can interface via Bluetooth, our radios, is a fantastic idea, which I fully support. All companies should do that. We really only have the Chinese manufacturers being a holdout to that standard, which we see on many other radios. So let's throw this over on the desktop, take a look at it. I'll show you how to do the firmware upgrade, which again, you do via the application, which is just so cool. Uh, so easy. You can just update the firmware. So you still need the HT application, but so far I've had no issues with it. You don't have to log on to anything. You don't have to make a log on as of my last time using it. So let me show you how to do that. And then I'll show you how to interface an application. Applications. So to load the firmware to open up KISS support, go to HT, beta is fine. Go ahead and pull up your radio. And then under the little gear icon, it's kind of hard to see, but under the gear at the top, go to firmware version. And if you click on that, you should see an update and you should see a beta that will allow you to install the update to let you do KISS TNC on any kind of device is what we're aiming for right now but break out of that. So once you get it set up, there's no change to the radio interface. You can still get APRS messages and all that stuff and transmit. But if you didn't want to use HT, which a lot of people don't, you can now swap that out with no problem once you do a little protocol for pairing the device with an iOS or Android device using another application. So let's kill this guy, get out of that, go to radio. Let's go to APRS Droid, for instance, and let's set up. And let's put it on a different antenna. So let's get something a little bit better here. And now we start getting beacons. So we are outside of the HT architecture. We are in uh, APRS.Droid, APRS application on Android. We can map this too. So we'll go to map. Hey, look, there's all my APRS uh, spots that are coming up right now. But for me, the real novelty in this is radio mail. And so I want to be able to do WinLink on the go. Let me take you through my connection. Make sure you set up your account. Go to packet, kiss TNC modem. Now I already have the VNC connected. I have it paired, but if you haven't done this before, if you go down to the bottom here and you click pairing, this radio will connect to anything now over low energy Bluetooth, depending on what your phone supports. And it'll just show up and you can select it and you can do all the things that we're about to do, which is amazing because normally we had to, if you're talking about the D74, for instance, you had to have a dongle to do that. You don't have to have that for this, which is amazing. After you do the initial firmware, if you had any kind of settings in this radio, you need to clear them out. So let's go into the menu. Let's go to general settings connection. And then under this option where it shows pairing, you should see all the devices it's paired with. Right now I have no devices it's paired with. So I'm gonna turn pairing on and I'm gonna go back to my iPhone because I wanna make a connection here. I want to make email happen over WinLink, so I'm going to click Settings. I'm going to go down to Packet TNC. Now, this app thinks that we were already connected with the V76, but that's not the case anymore. So we got to scroll down to another window here. Under the main menu, click Pairing. And there it is, VN76, or VRN76. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go back. 
I'm gonna click on my little mail icon and I don't want Telnet. I want my local uh, local node. So I'm gonna go to this K6LKD, hopefully, on 145.030 and let's see if it connects. So it just asked, asked me to pair there and that was interesting. All right, so it didn't it didn't connect. So let's go to, go back to uh, TNC. It's still there. I didn't touch any of the defaults. I'm gonna click done, and let's try and do that again. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. So the radio switched into Kiss TNC mode, and it switched over. I think I was already on 145.030. And we should start seeing some activity on the light here. We may have to do this twice now that we're paired. Because we went through the process of pairing it, and you got to do it once or twice. I'm not going to explain why that's the case, because I don't know the code, but you, you might have to do it a couple of times. Well, now we got a reply. LKD13DCS Club Station. This is not showing any activity, though, so... That's a bit odd, so I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go back to the mail, and it was canceled by me. I'm going to click Connect again. Let's see what it does. Switch it over to TNC. Good. Okay. So we're not seeing any activity on the light here, which is a bit of a bummer. I would like to see the, uh, the red and green back and forth, but... We are apparently making some kind of a traffic here on the uh, on the radio. So I'll dive in on that. Oh, and it kicked me out. Interesting. Okay. So I've got a I've got this error that I'm not familiar with. So when it comes to radio stuff, particularly like handheld radios and the connections that lie within oftentimes the best course of action is shut everything down and restart it. So I showed you how to tether it. And then, yeah, retether the whole thing, delete everything. If the radio that you had connected before is not working, delete the radio connection to the device. Delete the phone connection on your radio. Connect them all back up like they never talked before. And then try it a couple of times because now there's all my WinLink messages. Fantastic. So I'm going to reply to those real quick, and then we're going to send them out again. All right, so I have a number of uh, emails in the outbox. Let's recreate what I just did here. So I'm going to go to stations. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to go to mail, and I'm going to change that to favorites. And yeah, we have a history of connecting with them. Let's do it again. Little phone icon to here uh, uh, hopped up. I got part of the way there. Let's try it again. So sometimes this happens where you, you, you don't have a good connection. That's fine. There's, there's a number of other connections we can go to. Let's go back to the little mail icon. We'll go to favorites. So four miles away, not bad, but this is also five miles away. So we'll go to the next station and click connect. And there we go. We're now connected. Now we're sending our one of five messages. I promise you, you can all do this. This is not complicated. This is a an HT and a phone. Links are in the video description on this HT. You can check it out. It does a lot of things. It's it's hitting way above its weight limit for the the amount of value you get out of your money for little over a hundred dollars pretty good little radio and different colors too if you want that so there you go fq means we're done completed i sent my emails amazing so let's dive out of this let's go to aprs dot fi now so for this application let's let's go ahead and go to more and we're going to go to tnc dsp modem and it's saying TNC Mobile Link. Nope, we don't want it. We want to disconnect that. We want to select. Sure, let's let's do that. 
it's showing that I have a VRN76 right here that can do the job. And once I click that, boom, I'm getting now traffic immediately. And if we give it a minute, oh, you know what though? It's not going to be happy because I'm not on the right frequency. So let's change that. So hold down this right button. So if you're not familiar with this radio, basically um, I am on an open frequency spot, VFO VFO setting. So I'm going to go to 144.390. Let's see what happens on the screen. We are getting packets. So very good. You know, I like to try and figure out how this works on the back end so I don't have to complain on the air for you all listening to me, but I swear this is pissing me off because if I go to more, this thing is filling up constantly with APRS beacons that many people are sending out right now. And if I click map, there's nothing. There's nothing there. There's no There's no APRS traffic. It's just showing me, and I don't know why. I went through the map. I clicked all the buttons, but I'm stuck here. This works though because obviously we're seeing it right there. There's the there's the raw APRS packets. So I'm I'm assuming this is my fault. As always, it's it's gotta be my fault. Um so I, I, I will figure it out. But the good news is that this works. This is a fully KISS TNC capable HT over low energy Bluetooth, which is crazy. And that's exactly what we want. So we can do radio mail. We can do G, uh, APRS things. We can do whatever we want to do, whether it's on Android or uh, iOS. You're good to go. This is this is the 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 HT for any of your ham nerd business that you want to do. This is the one, no question. That the VGC link in the video description. BTEC also is a, a same radio. Basically, it's made by VGC. You can check them out. But yeah, check out the link in the video description for the legit VGC radio. It'll get you to do all of this stuff, and you'll be on the air. So great job, VGC. This is exactly what we want to see in the amateur radio market. You hit it out of the park not only with this radio, but now your openness to support or allow other applications to control your radio. This gives it much longer legs and makes it much more usable to the market and I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe. And a hearty 7-3 from me, KI6NAZ.